what's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer. And I must say right off that I'm a sucker for these quadcopters that are modeled after airplanes and other things that fly. And that being said, of all the plane models that I've flown, this one flies the best, hands down. This is the Wonder Chopper fighter jet. And this is one of the few quads that you can buy now that doesn't have altitude hold. That's right, this thing does not have altitude hold. So as you can see on the transmitter, the left stick is free moving. It doesn't snap back into the middle. And so that allows for this thing to be controlled a little better. You have full control of throttle management and it also teaches better throttle management for beginners. This thing is my absolute favorite as far as the plane models go. And as you can see, it's in a plus configuration as far as the motors. And that really doesn't stop this thing from flying really nice. It banks really well. It does really nice funnels. This thing has three rates on it. The transmitter here has all the buttons labeled on the top. These here are trims. And even here we have a tornado mode. So this little button, if you press it in, it gives you a tornado mode where this thing just spins around. And does a, uh, not really a funnel, but it'll do a little banking turn. And all you have to do is give it throttle, keep it in the air with the throttle management and whatnot. And as soon as you give another input on this right stick, then it comes out of that mode. So it's basically just for show, I guess. I don't really see it on here, but I'm pretty sure this thing does have headless mode. It's probably one of these buttons here when you hold it down. I think it is, and then it'll go into headless mode. I'm looking on the box here. It doesn't say on the box if there's a headless mode on there or not. It just have all the other functions listed there. I don't see anything for headless mode, but I'm pretty sure there is headless mode. And I'm going to demonstrate this thing does have a true headless mode. And what I mean by that is the headless mode on this thing is actually useful. So the headless mode, in order for it to be useful, you have to have it uh, turned on with the nose of the plane facing away from you. Because when you turn it on with the nose facing away from you, uh, whichever direction you have it facing when you turn this thing on, it locks the heading. So if you turn this little guy on with the nose facing away from you and the heading is locked towards the front of you, then you can go go on flying and all. And if you lose orientation, you get it kind of far away from you and you can't tell which way it's facing. You can put this thing in headless mode and forward would always take it away from you and pulling back will always bring it back to you. So it wouldn't matter which direction that the plane is facing. So it has a useful headless mode on it. That's rare with these little toy grade quads and all. This came with two batteries. The batteries are these little batteries here. It pops off like that, the bottom of it. And so these are the batteries here. Little LiPo batteries with the low-C connection on it. Little micro low-C connection. And it did come with extra props. I lost one of the props. I didn't damage any of the props, but I did lose one. So I only have three here. It also comes with these little wheels to complete the plane model look. So these go in the back and this one goes in the front. It's not like you're gonna be coming and gliding in for a landing or anything like that. <laughs> you're more than likely gonna be doing a vertical takeoff and landing with this guy. And the box has a little landing pad on it. As you guys can see there, little landing pad on it. And this here is actually a runway. <laughs> just for show you're really not going to be rolling off with this thing to take off but it's pretty cool but let's go check this thing out in flight what's up y'all i'm out here with the wonder chopper that's a look at the flag so you can see what kind of wind we have out here Low rate, a little bit of one low one to the left. Let's try the yaw. 
Why is it? I mean, Jamal, why is it you leave me without me? It's a very really slow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little late, so we're on second lead. That's the yarn on second lead. Let's look at y'all on third rate. That's third rate, y'all. We're going to fly it in third rate because it's not really going to go anywhere on second or first rate. Let's try a flip. Flip one out the roll. This is a backward flip. Range is pretty good on it. Control of it is nice. Altitude control. <laughs> because we doesn't because we don't have altitude hold on it. So I can dip down on this stuff. This is the best of a funnel we can do. Now let me bring it down a little. Check it out. Oh, actually, you can do a better funnel if you hit this little uh, funnel button here. Tornado spin. Let's hit that. See how tight it is. Wait, let me see. Okay, I'm going to hit it now. Oh, it's not going to do it maybe because oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> Let's try that again. This is the button here. So it starts to do funnel. Okay, we had pitched the low rate, so that's why I didn't really have control of it like that. We're back in high rate. Let's try the yaw spin again, the tornado spin. Oh yeah, it's hard to do any type of funnels or anything with the wind like this. Well, I guess that's all there is to show for now. So let's bring it in. Quick outdoor flight. Be mindful of which direction we have this facing when we turn it on. So I want my heading to be in front of me. So I'm going to make sure that the craft is facing that way. And so... I'm going to turn it on here, so the headless heading should be set now, so let's pick it up, so we're in the first rate, so let's try the yaw, that's the yaw, <laughs> this is left and right aileron, Forward and backward pitch. So pretty docile. So let's do yaw and then we're gonna pitch to the second rate while in mid yaw. So we can see the difference in speed. Okay, so that was it. Let's go back to it again. So here's the yaw. And that's second rate yaw. This is Elleron. So it gets pretty fast on second leap. Forward and back with pitch. So let's switch to the third leap while we're in mid y'all on second leap. So very little difference in y'all speed. Just the y'all speed there. We're in the highest leap. So that's side flying Elleron. Forward and backward pitch. It's the best of a funnel we can get. <laughs> well, I'm actually banking. I'm actually banking there. We try a funnel. That's a funnel there. Okay, so let's try a flip. So that was a roll. The backward flip. It's 
tends to climb a lot more. And so what else? You can press fairly smooth. So oh let's let me show you this tornado spin thing. So there it is there. It went all the way down. Let me try it again. Wait, let me get it out in front of me. I don't really need to trim this thing. Let me see. see. It's all over the place. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, that's the tornado spin there. And so let's try headless mode now. Headless mode is, I believe, this button. So it's in headless now. So I should be able to see y'all. Yep. So I'm still in control of it. Forward is still in front of me. And my left is the left. And right takes it right. Down brings it back to me. So let's come out of that. So I guess that's all to be shown, except for it's flight time now. Do some funnels. My cat. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's crash it a little bit. Well, it's not gonna, I guess, uh, crash well on the nose. It's gonna just pancake against the wall or whatever you crash into. If you wanna bump it head on, but from the side, let's see that. So it crashes okay from the side. The lights will be better if they just stay solid. I don't know why they flash them like that. I guess to try to make it look realistic or whatnot. Most of the aircraft have the blinking lights like that. Wow, we went down. <laughs> Just flying ourselves out of the air and going too many times. The Vortex wind is really strong on this one. A lot of times, late in the battery, if you do a flip or roll, it'll go straight to the ground. Let me try that. <laughs> As you can see there, it goes straight down. <laughs> so you have to do all your flips and rolls early in the flight. Although I didn't test that outside. I think outside is probably enough room to get away from the vortex. And it's flashing now. The battery is low. LVC warning is in effect. So we're going to fly it until it drops. It's thinned out pretty well. And it's going down. I think it got caught up in the ring, the vortex ring seat. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the battery. So it's the Wonder Chopper. Pretty awesome little flyer. Really surprised at how well this thing flies outdoors. And it's a nice indoor flyer.